Okay, so today, my little baby boomers, we're gonna have beans on toast. Now, um, I was born in England, and I was raised up until about 10 years old in England, and in that period, there wasn't McDonald's, there wasn't KFC, there wasn't all this fast food everywhere. Most people had a local shop on the corner, they had a chip shop, we used to call it, which is a fish and chip shop, and they normally had a, a green grocer and a few stores around where you could buy some food. Uh, there wasn't any big conglomerate supermarkets everywhere, so we were probably saved by, not, by being poor and not having a lot of money and eating sort of peasant food. So growing up in England, you normally had beans on toast, or you had chips and beans, or you might have had egg and beans, or peas and beans, <laughs> no sorry, peas and chips, uh, lots of chips. So that's lots of potatoes, which is good, and we used to have potato hash, stuff like that. So we never had a lot of meat um, growing up because it was way too expensive. So our junk food of the day was beans on toast. So what I've done today, I've put together a healthy version for you. So we've got this beautiful seed bread with gorgeous avocado as the spread, and we've actually made the baked beans ourselves. I did use a can of um, beans to make the recipe, but you can make them from scratch, and we might do that in another video. So yes, everything British today. Um, my best friend actually went back to England and she lives there now, so every time she gets a Union Jack, or every time she sees something that's got a Union Jack on it, she tends to send it to me. So I've got like an old Union Jack phone case. I've got Union Jack underwear. Um, Union Jack tank top. Union Jack um, tea towel. Um, head banner. I've even got a cup. So this is British Day today. We'll put out the flags and we've got a Union Jack towel and my little Union Jack blanket. So I'll thank you my best friend in England. I do appreciate you loving me this way and sending me Union Jacks. So anyway, if you want your kids to have some junk, why not make them beans on toast? Because it's probably much better for them than going down to one of these fast food outlets and getting lots of um, processed fat, processed sugar, and processed salt. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this recipe. It's absolutely tasty delicious, so go for it. Okay, we start out with our ingredients. So here we've got some tamari, we've got our apple cider vinegar, we've got some maple syrup, some molasses. Here we've got some mustard powder. You can use fresh mustard if you like. And here's one of the secret ingredients, uh, liquid smoke. And then we've got our tomato sauce. Now you can have, in the recipe, it's got a cup of tomato sauce. What I've done here is I've mixed some tomato puree, some tomato sauce, and some barbecue sauce. And they're all organic, so I've got the organic tomato puree, the organic tomato sauce, and barbecue sauce. And then you've got your seasoning, so I've got some Himalayan pink salt here, your chopped onions, and some garlic. So that will be the first stage, and then we'll go on to our other ingredients. And these are organic. And make sure everything is organic, like the molasses here is organic. So all the ingredients are organic. Here I've rinsed and drained the beans, and I have them sitting in the sieve here, ready to go into the sauce when we get it cooking. So I have everything ready, next to your pan, ready to rock and roll. So we just start heating this up. It's always a good idea when you're sauteing onions and garlic and the like to get your pan nice and hot before you add them to the pan. Now for this recipe I'm not using any oil, so I'll be using water to saute. And then garlic. Give them a bit of a stir. So there's no reason to use oil, you can use water. So you can see it's sort of starting to dry up a little bit now, so all the water's been absorbed by the onions. So you can then add a little bit more water to the pan. And this is part of the, the water that's in the recipe. So just add that or use that at this point. It smells really nice. Good. Okay, so it's time they 
So it's time to add the rest of the ingredients. So what I'm going to do at this point is going to add the rest of the water. Then it's going to be a bit easier to mix the rest of the ingredients. Okay, so let's add in, add in our maple syrup, our molasses, cider vinegar. Mari, mustard powder, a liquid smoke, very potent stuff that, so don't overdo the smoke, and then we've got our salt. Stir all those in, so we'll just turn down the heat a little bit when I get a free hand. Let them simmer for a little bit. Okay, just add a little taste test to that and it, it tastes absolutely amazing. And I'm gonna take and I'm gonna take the um, the heat right down. Now you, you could add the beans here and let that simmer and sit there for about half an hour so, so it melts into the um, beans. But what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna actually transfer this to a blender blend it but if you want to keep the chunks in you certainly can and then I'm going to add the beans and I'm going to bake it in the oven so that we actually get the authentic baked beans. So I've ended up with about two cups of the sauce so I'm going to now transfer this into the blender and blend it up so it's actually a very smooth sauce. Now we have to be very careful with this because the liquid is hot uh, you're going to have a steam build up in there. So what I normally do with the top here is just lift it up a little bit and just take it off. So I don't think we'll get much splash if you start off slow. All the dials are down because I've made it jump before. And here we go. Don't keep up too high or you'll have it jumping out the top here, but you can see the steam. So just be very careful about if you're using a blender. There's our beautiful sauce. So here we go. I'm going to add the beans in there first. And then gone away. And then we're going to add the sauce. Okay, we we'll just mix all that up. Okay, so all we do now is place that in a pre-heated oven and I'll just keep my eye on it and let you know how long I leave them in there. Then we've got our beans. Okay, so what we're going to do, we've got our toast ready and I'm going to add some nice um, avocado instead of butter. Okay, so our beans have been in the oven for just over half an hour. You can leave them in there as long as you think is appropriate. Spoon them on. So if you want to spoon them onto the little ones you can or you can use them to dip into the beans. We've got our nutritional yeast here. Sprinkle a bit of that on the top. You've got a beautiful dish of baked beans on toast and it's perfectly healthy, low in fat, beautiful dish. Okay, so now we've got our trusty taste tester. Now he's never had my baked beans before. So let's see what the ver verdict is. Here you go, dear. So I can hook in one? Yes. You said the camera. Breakfast on television. You have to leave some for me. No, it's not good. That was beautiful. And do I have to share this? Yes. <laughs> Once again, it's hard being a taste tester in this household. Because you make such horrible stuff. <laughs> no, it's bloody beautiful. So you might like that more often? Mm-hmm. Well, I like the sauce with it. It's nice, isn't it? Mm -hmm. That's the secret ingredient, which is that smoke. So mm -hmm. it is an optional ingredient, but it really makes a difference. Mm -hmm. So we have like a muck buck here. We just eat and talk, eh? Is that mm -hmm. Yeah, what was it? The smoke stuff. I like that. Mm. That's what it's 
the smog makes that, but you, you can't overdo it. If you, if you put too much smog in, it sort of spoils it. Mm. You add that little hint of it and it gives it that sort of a barbecuing flavor. Mm. That's nice. Mm. That's cool. Oh shit, I thought it was here. No, I'm on here. Mm. Yeah. Got brown there. An avocado is really a good option for your butter. I can remember as a kid growing up with my best friend that gave me all the um, English stuff. We used to get the little avocados and get our little knives and um, and put it on the bread. We used to call it our green butter. So I did have some good health habits even then. And I always go for the crust of the bread. Mm. Which is fine by me. <laughs> The thing is, like, you go over to England, um, a lot of the cafes serve chips and beans and serve beans on toast. Um, you know, you, you grow up in Italy or places like that, you grow up with these elaborate dishes, and in England you get a tin of beans <laughs> and some bread, and you have beans on toast. So. They're very inventive over there. <laughs> oh, and chips, don't forget the chips. What was the fish you used to get? Because I heard it when I was over there. I don't know. It's like um, haddock or something like that. And there's only battered chips, chips, beans, or egg. Was another one you used to get them occasionally. So what we'll do next time, we'll make um, beans slightly different, and we'll make some oven chips, so we can have our chips and beans. That's all you need. You don't need to eat simply. You don't have to have these elaborate meals. And this is. It was very easy to make, very quick, and it's very healthy for you. But wait, folks, there's more. I don't have to share. Throw them on there. When it comes to good food, I am a bit of a pig. Especially when it's healthy, you know? I know I can eat a bucket load of this and it does good for me. I don't have to worry about, you know, putting on a pound here, pound there. Which, in my line of work, <laughs> isn't hard to put the pounds on, I can tell you. But when you eat this sort of stuff, Mm. I'm about done. This type of food is also very filling as well. So you should just eat till you feel satisfied. You don't have to overdo everything. And um, your body will take care of the rest. It knows what to do. And it knows how much food you need. But this is too good to stop. But if you feel like you need more, all you have to do is stop and wait 10 minutes. And then, mm. then you reassess if you, if you need more. Because... Um, as you're eating, you feel like you need more, but if you stop for a little while, you might find that you're actually full. So, just bear that in mind. So, it's goodbye from me. That's a good vibe from her. <laughs>